And now, the general weather around Alaska. Satellite imagery for the day Wednesday today. You can see uh, faintly, this low not as defined as it was back in Bristol Bay yesterday, or actually in the southeast Bering Sea. But you can see it tracking eastward here along the North Gulf Coast, weakening as it goes, pushing uh, front into the panhandle and some rain there back into the southeast portion of the state, clearing behind it, drying out and clearing out here, Cook Inlet, Kenai Peninsula, and even more so for Kodiak Island where the winds are stronger, gusty winds diminishing this afternoon for the Alaska Peninsula, and some showers here over the southwest interior, and areas of showers over actually all of interior Alaska with kind of an upper level trough across the entire region. And out here to the west, uh, clouds and moisture coming into the western Aleutians and also a mass of clouds here with the next storm that's uh, going to stay mostly south of the Alu or will stay south of the Aleutian chain and then pull up to the northeast later on on Friday heading into the southern panhandle but today higher pressure in over the uh, southeast and central Bering Sea making for light winds dry conditions out there gusty north winds uh, earlier northwest winds earlier gusting as high as uh, 45 to 50 miles an hour, diminishing this afternoon and seeing gusts of uh, 45 miles an hour at uh, Kodiak earlier today, also at Chignik, and uh, breezy with showers and clouds over the southwest part of the state. Again, some clearing showing up now in Cook Inlet, especially down to the south here, on up into the Sitna Valley. Showers starting to end slowly from uh, west to east here for the Kenai Peninsula, dry conditions and a few breaks this afternoon. Uh, for Seward, but uh, rain, half an inch of rain falling at both Valdez and Yakutat today with this system, and rain up into the Copper River Basin area, lighter amounts in the interior. And uh, next system showing up out there to the west, just moving into Shimia, and this front moving it across the panhandle, continuing to weaken. That brought two thirds of an inch of precipitation to uh, Huna today, and for tonight, that front edges eastward over toward the border after midnight and then in, into Canada eventually. But southwest flow keeps a lot of moisture rolling on into the uh, area there for continued rain, but it uh, should be a little bit lighter. Dry conditions here, Gulf of Alaska, Kodiak Island. Winds coming down now, though, as this uh, low fills and moves off to the east, high holding here along the southwest coast. Stay breezy, but uh, won't see those strong wind gusts, light winds here for the Alaska Peninsula, all of the southwest interior, scattered showers in the central part of the state, western Arctic coast, otherwise dry. This storm system just edging onto the chart here, staying south of the area, high pressure holding that one to the south, trying to hold that one back to the west there. We'll see for tomorrow. This uh, slides eastward and a little bit to the northeast, probably going to spill some rain into the eastern Aleutians and pick at least the winds up to uh, small craft advisories, possibly gust 35, maybe 40 miles an hour. And uh, same thing for the south side of the western Alaska Peninsula. Otherwise, high pressure right along the southwest coast, ridging down the central Aleutians for pretty light winds there, dry conditions. That same pattern all the way northward across the bearing into the Chukchi Sea. Scattered showers with some clearing over the interior and no showers tomorrow. Dry day Thursday, southern Alaska with uh, partly sunny skies, mostly sunny Kodiak and uh, surrounding areas back into Bristol Bay. Next front out here bringing some uh, small craft advisory level winds and uh, rain into the western Aleutians from Kiska westward there. And uh, showers, another trough rolling into the pan now that was continually weakening low there, holding off the north coast. But by uh, Friday, that one kicks out as this storm here tracks right up to the east northeast. And that'll bring uh, 30 knot winds to Prince of Wales Island in the afternoon with increasing rain over the southern panhandle. And some moisture caught up in southeast flow here gets pulled back up into Prince William Sound for a chance of rain for the North Gulf Coast. Some of that could drop down in northeast flow into uh, northern Kodiak, Fognac Island, maybe into the northeast part of Kodiak Island. Otherwise, partly mostly sunny for Bristol Bay, partly sunny south central Alaska, scattered showers in the interior. Chance of rain and snow showers for the uh, Brooks Range, central and eastern Brooks Range, north slope, 
And also with a weak thing up there for the central Arctic coast, otherwise high pressure center in the Chukchi Sea, light winds all the way down, northern Bering Sea now, and winds stay light for the eastern Aleutians. This low breaks off the main front and not all that strong. We'll bring some rain and a little bit of an increase in the winds to the central Aleutians. Lows out that way tonight in the 40s for the Bering Sea and the Aleutians, as well as the Alaska Peninsula. 30s and 40s for the interior, except uh, mid 30s, lower to mid 30s from the Brooks Range out to the Arctic coast and 45 to 50 for the Panhandle. Highs for tomorrow, 40s in the interior. Lower 50s here, or lower to, yeah, lower to mid 50s for South Central Alaska, right around 50 over toward the east side there, lower 50s for the Yukon Flats, and uh, 40s all the way out to the Arctic coast. Otherwise, the Panhandle, 55 to 60 for your highs. And then the lows, uh, about the same, 40s for the southeast coast, and 40s here for South Central Alaska, especially along Cook Inlet. Otherwise, everybody now dropping into the 30s and 30s all the way north up to the Arctic coast, lower 40s in the Bering Sea, mid 40s for the Aleutians. And then for the highs on Friday afternoon, again in the 50s here across the south, 40s now for the central interior and mid to upper 30s for the north slope or Arctic coast and also for the Brooks Range. And again, 55 to 60 for the southeast coast.